thimble or planer? What's the difference? Well, we're gonna find out next. This video is sponsored by Bosch Automotive Service Solutions, a globally trusted partner for all workshop needs. Visit BoschDiagnostics.com for more information. In the early days of Lambda or oxygen sensors, there was only one design. It was called the thimble design. This had a ceramic thimble inside that had a coating of a precious metal on either side. And this worked off the Nernst effect of basically there was a voltage differential between the reference air and the exhaust air depending on the amount of oxygen ions in the exhaust stream. These were used for decades, but they were very limited on the amount of difference between rich and lean conditions it could read. Around the 1990s, we saw an innovation in oxygen sensors. It's called the planar sensor. Basically what they were able to do is to take wafers of ceramic material and make a sensor with in-between pump cells and other areas that had more surface area for the precious metals so it can generate the voltage differential depending on the amount of oxygen ions either in the reference air or the exhaust stream. Also with planar sensors, it allowed for heaters that acted faster so the vehicle could go into closed loop operation sooner. So with the planar sensor, it had a wider range of operation, thus the name a wide band oxygen sensor because it's able to detect a larger range of rich and lean conditions. This makes for a more fuel efficient vehicle and that has lower emissions. I'm Andrew Markell, thank you very much.